Danielle Russo. Um, so she's been studying the Bible, and I think her sister's here. Is that your sister? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think it's amazing <laughs> because uh, Craig actually had met her and brought her out to a single social. Uh, we had at Horning's Hideout two weeks ago yesterday. And ever since then, this woman has been going after her relationship with God. Uh, in two weeks. It's amazing. Like every day she's like, okay, I'm ready to do this. <laughs> so we laid it out last Sunday and here we are today. Um, but I have a scripture I want to share with you. Um, let's see. Yeah, find it. Uh, it's in... Oh my gosh, I told, oh, Acts, Acts 17. <laughs> Woo! I totally drew blank. So we all know the scripture, but Acts 17 in verse 11, it says, Now the Bereans were of more noble character than the Thessalonians, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. And this has been her heart. Look, she's taking notes right now. It's like so amazing, <laughs> even writing the scriptures down. But she has been that Berean, like literally eagerly examining the scriptures every day and asking questions like she'll have her notes she's right now uh, she asks questions she's that Berean she just doesn't believe what people says the Bible is her standard mm -hmm. and right. I really appreciate that about you I'm super excited to see what God's going to do with you I, I, I know that God is uh, going to do something special and what's so amazing actually about both these women is that they're single moms so it's Mother's Day so um, you know, it's amazing. And who knows, maybe her son Lane will lead a church one day. I don't know, but um, just have that Hannah prayer. So I'm going to let the other women share that was in the studies. Um, so go ahead, Michelle. Come uh, Good morning, church. Well, um, I just like to share how, how how happy I am that you're gonna be part of the church and be my sister. Um, I always um, enjoy reading the scriptures you sent through the text messages, and I always look forward. And I'm like, I wake up and I'm like, oh, there's one from Danielle. I'm like, Amen. Like she was, she uh, is totally awesome. Like like Jen said, like she is a Berean. Like she always takes notes, like at all times, and always asks questions like she's like what does this mean I'm like um and I show her scriptures and she's like well why do they do that I'm like so she's always asking a question I mean so if you don't know her get to know her because she's awesome and uh, I have a scripture for you in Acts 2:42, which says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe, and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common, selling their possessions and goods, and gave to anyone who had need. And you definitely give to people who are in need because you are always there trying to give a ride or yeah. help people. And she's always like, what can I do? Like, it's really awesome. And I'm just really grateful for you. And I'm glad that you're going to be my sister in Christ. Thank you. All right, Danielle, I'm going to share a scripture with you as you take your notes. Okay. Um, <laughs> 1 Peter 1, <laughs> verse 8 and 9. You got that? Okay. <laughs> though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And I am just so honored that we've gotten to spend so much time together and, you know, just welcoming you into my home and um, your eagerness and the bereavement portion of you is amazing and inspiring and I'm really excited about today. Thank you. Alright. I just want to thank everyone for coming and celebrating today and I want to thank the girls I've been studying with, Jamie, Jennifer, Lachelle, and Annie 
Uh, <laughs> and thanks for Craig for inviting me. And yeah. We actually Come on. we didn't really meet me and Annie. It was a phone call. So, <laughs> and like that phone call kind of like I have a verse. It's First Corinthians. <laughs> Uh, 1424. All right. All right. Use the scriptures. Um, so 1 Corinthians 1424 says, But if I, an unbeliever, someone who does not understand, comes in while everyone is prophesying, he will be convinced by all that he is a sinner and will be judged by all. In verse 25 it says, And the secrets of his heart will be laid bare. So he will fall down and worship God, exclaiming, God is really among you. So, like, just even talking to Annie on the phone, like, I knew that. Like, I was searching for a church that was united. And well, I could tell by Annie just <laughs> on the phone that, you know, it was united under God. So, right. like, you guys are set apart, and that's what I want to be a part of. So right. I'm excited to enter the kingdom. <laughs> Reader shirt. It was amazing when we did the the um, church when we did one of the studies. It talked about like being united in one, and she had this shirt on. So you guys have to read it. It's like totally the spirit and God and everything that works. So, yeah. amen. I have to move it up because I'm a little taller than the shelf. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's the shoes. <laughs> it's the shoes. Yeah. All right, yeah, it was awesome. We yeah, the first conversation we had was at ten thirty at night and yeah, it was crazy. Um I'm just so proud of how far you've come and just I mean you opened up everything on that conversation and just seeing you your heart and you had so much faith in just that one conversation I had with you. It was crazy amazing. So with that, I have a couple questions to ask you. All right. So, do you believe that Jesus Christ came to this earth, lived a sinless life, um, died for your sins, and was resurrected on the third day? Yes, I do. And what is your good confession? That Jesus is Lord. Woo! Woo! All right. So, now with your good confession, we can baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You will be your sins will be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, and you will be added to God's family. Come on. Amen. In the show.